Hey everybody, it is time to talk about the New York Rangers because don't look now, but the New York Rangers are in second place in the Metropolitan Division. And at this point, this is more than just a hot start. We're, we're almost two months into the season here. Um, this, this, is, uh, this is for real. The New York Rangers are 12-8-2 to start the year. They have 26 points. They're in second place in the Metro Division behind Columbus. They're 8-1-1 one one in their last 10 games, and they're on a three-game win streak. How? how? Where is this coming from? I, this is one of the biggest surprises of the season. The New York Rangers are a rebuilding team. They were supposed to be a last-place team this year. They were supposed to be down in the bottom of the Eastern Conference with Ottawa and Detroit and the Islanders and the Rangers. They, those were supposed to be your, fir, your four worst teams in the, the Eastern Conference. Not one of your worst teams. 12-8-2, second place, 26 points. 8-1-1 one, one in the last in their last 10 games. It is un, it's remarkable what this Rangers team has done. They should not be this good. They you look at their roster and they don't have a very good roster by NHL standards. There are much better teams than them in, in their own division, never mind in the league. Second place in the Metro Division. They're grinding out wins. They are working their butts off. They are winning games that they shouldn't win because they are working hard. It's it's really unbelievable what this team has been able to accomplish to this point. Is this going to keep up for the whole season? I I would almost I don't know. I I would bet against it because there are some red flags and we'll get into that in a second. But it's it's been impressive what they've done so far. Now the, no one saw this coming. The Rangers were supposed to stink. They were supposed to be awful, and they're not. They're actually a decent team. They're a pretty good team. They're better than a lot of other teams to this point. Now, there are some red flags, and one of the biggest ones that sticks out is their their goal differential. They only have 64 goals for and 65 goals against, so they have a negative goal differential. Teams with negative goal differentials generally don't stay near the top of the standings. Um, despite them giving up more goals than, than scoring, they're still winning games. So that means that when they lose, they're losing by a wide margin. And when they win, they're winning close games. Now, winning close games is not a red flag. That's a very good sign. Teams that can, cra that can pull out wins in very close games generally tend to do well. However, the negative goal differential is a red flag, and their goal differential is is not including their shootout uh, wins. They're four and zero in the shootout this year. That that's a big that's that's help you know that's really helped them get their record to where it is. Is they're four and zero in shootouts this year. So really, if you count the extra shootout goals that have got them wins, their goal differential six is plus three. They'd have 68 goals for, but I'm counting actual hockey goals. Um, so their goal differential is negative as far as real hockey goals go because you don't have um, the, the shootout goals counted. Also, special teams, not really anything special with the Rangers. 20.8 on the power play is not bad. It's it's perfect. That's pretty run of the mill, middle of the road, fine. That's a that's a fine power play. The penalty kill though, below 80%, that's a problem. Penalty kills below 80% are really big time red flags. That is not good because that means you you really can't take penalties and if you do, you're going to lose the game. They've got to get the penalty kill better better if they want to stay near the top of the standings. The power play, it's all right. I will take 20.8%. That's fine. Um, they're above 20%. That's, that's a good mark. They're not as high as some of the other top power plays in the league who have been operating up near 30% this year, but, but 20 is acceptable. The 77% on the penalty kill is a problem, and if they're going to stay near the top of the standings, they've got to make that better. However, so far to this point, they're finding ways to win games even with the, the issues that they have. 
The, the biggest thing that I see, though, that is going to hurt the Rangers in the long run is the fact that the only reason they're off to this good of a start, the only reason that they're where they are in the standings is because a lot of your typical Metro Division powers are not having good starts to the year, have not been good this year. Washington started off the season really, really slow. They've worked their way back up to third in the division. Pittsburgh is off to a horrendous start. They were in dead last a couple, uh, you know, like a week ago. They were in dead last. They've got Crosby back. They won their last game. They could potentially be turning a corner. If they turn a corner, they're going to be climbing through the standings. Philadelphia has stunk this year. Uh, Philly is off to a really, really disappointing start. If they turn things around, they're going to be climbing the standings. New Jersey was a playoff team last year. They're not off to a great start. If they can turn things around, that is four teams coming after the Rangers in the standings. In Washington, Pittsburgh, and Philly are all supposed to be really, really good teams. New Jersey is supposed to be a pretty good team. The Rangers are not supposed to be a good team. So that's four teams that on paper, at least, are better than the Rangers coming after them in the standings. It's going to be a dogfight for the Rangers to stay where they are as far as the standings go. And for them to make the playoffs, they're going to need at least two of those teams that I just mentioned between Washington, Pittsburgh, Philly, and New Jersey. They're going to need at least two of those teams not to catch them and to continue to have bad seasons. And that's certainly possible, especially as bad as Pittsburgh and, New Jer- and Philly and New Jersey have all looked to this point. It's certainly possible. Washington, they're already climbing. They're they're well on their way to being cl- much closer to what we they should be, being the defending Stanley Cup champions. Washington, I think, is going to end up being certainly contending for the division title. Pittsburgh has been a huge disappointment this year, but they still have Sidney Crosby. They still have Evgeny Malkin. They still have Chris Letang. They have a team that's won the Stanley Cup two out of the last three years. Obviously, they didn't last year. They have most of that core of those team, those Stanley Cup teams left. Pittsburgh, there's a chance that they turn it around. New Jersey could go on a hot streak. Philly, Philly, I don't know. There's a lot of talent there, but I don't like the coach, and I think they're going to have a very poor season. Um, but still, there are teams coming after the Rangers, and the Rangers are going to have to keep winning games and fend off those teams to stay where they are in the standings it's going to be a dog fight it's going to be a very difficult thing for the rangers to do but being 12 8 and 2 is a very difficult thing for the rangers to do with their current roster and they've been able to do it so i can't count them out i can't count look at them and say no there's no chance they stay here there's no chance they're this good all season long They've been this good to this point, so why count them out? I think there's a chance. I think it's a long shot that they end up making the playoffs. I think it's going to be a very difficult road to the playoffs if they do make it. But I can't say that they don't have a chance because they've proven to this point that they can grind out wins, they can work harder than their opponent, and they can they can flat out steal wins in some instances. And if they continue to do that, they're going to they're gonna pick up a lot more wins than anyone expected them to. So New York, to this point, has been very impressive. Um, and and it's, I, I don't know how long this continues for. I don't know if they can do this all year long. But they're a very hardworking team. They're a team that a lot other teams should look at and say, that's the kind of effort level we need night in and night out because they are stealing wins with their work ethic. And, and they're not the most talented team in the world. You look at that roster, they are not the most talented team in the league. Not even close. When you look at that roster, they should be near the bottom of the Eastern Conference. But they're not. They're outworking teams. They are stealing wins. They are grinding out wins. And if they continue to do that, then they have a very legitimate chance of making the playoffs. But they've got to, they've got to keep doing it, and they've got to keep winning because there are teams behind them in the standings that are gunning for them. And there are teams with a lot more talent behind them in the standings. If those teams get it together, it's going to be very tough for the Rangers to stay where they are. So 
The Rangers are a team to keep an eye on for the rest of the year. We will see if they can continue grinding out wins like this or if their lack of lack of talent is going to catch up with them at some point. But so far, so good for the New York Rangers. They've been a huge surprise and a very, very good surprise. So with that, like, comment, share, subscribe, follow on social media, check out offthewallhockey.com. All those links are down in the description below. If you'd like to further support this channel, the link to our Patreon and our merch store uh, is also down in the description. Keep spreading the word about this channel. Let's keep this thing growing. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you guys soon.